Hi friends, this is Gail O'Neill and I teach stamping. I hope you enjoy. So Dragonfly Garden, a little bit, we're going to stamp one of them and punch them out. I'll stick it up here and forget where I put it. But this is a brand new one. So we're going to open up this dandy laser cut paper and I'm going to rip out all the things that I need. Now I checked and this is still available. See, I don't know, a lot of times carryover sets and this is carrying over, like they become dead to me. So, <laughs> like I have to pull them to use them with something else is how I do it. So, we are using this one tonight. Let's put the cardboard on the floor. Let me put this over there. I'll grab whatever from here as I need it. I do have a couple from the other one hmm, somewhere. I'll pull them when I need them. So the first one we're going to use is this. And what I'm doing with that, we're actually going to make two cards. That one. And... <laughs> that goes with that and this one so let me get the piece of white out of here and all the pieces I'll stick over there and I'm gonna put that right there I'm also gonna grab a piece of paper which I forgot Because we're going to do a little, a little sponging. Okay, am I set up? Am I good? I think I'm good. All right, let's get that even. The first time I glued it, but I I'm going to wing it here and not glue it. So, I am using soft succulent and... Pale papaya. Even though I wanted to switch to pink, I'm, you know what? I'm going to try switching to pink and see what happens. But then it's, yeah, I'm going to switch to the pink. Huh. I'm being attacked by stamp pads. Did you ever have that dream? You know, that would be a nightmare. All right, let's hope for the best because I'm switching. <laughs> so, pale papaya. And we're going to center that again. Try and do this neat. So I'm going to do the bottom half. And I'm going right over the edge. And it's going to be a little crooked, guys. Just like me. All right, now we're going to cross your fingers and hope I made the right choice. So I'm just going to clean this off because it's got the other thing on it. I'll try and go light. Oh, I don't know about this. I think it's going to go good with the one card, but it's going to clash with the second card. So I may not glue the second card together and change something about it. We'll see.
we shall see so I'm gonna go down just a little bit just to blend the two and then I don't know if I have enough on here I think I just grabbed a different green brush I have two of them out here okay so dun 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 the magic Okay, so now we have those two. So this one is going to go with this. I hope that this one's going to look fine. You know what? This one might look fine too. But it's missing something. What's it missing? I'm missing a card. Where'd my shampoo go? So one is going to have that. Oh, I put it over there. Oh, you know what I didn't do? I didn't cut. Oh, so I can change it. See, this one I put that paper. So let's see what I got handy dandy. Uh, yeah, that one's not going to work. later but let's do this one but you get the idea making two cards out of it so this one will go with that this is going to go there we're going to stamp a saying now this came from tasteful labels okay so we are going to stamp Thank you for your kindness. I got to get rid of my mouse. Be a good boy. Um, and I will use Evening Evergreen. Because we have a green bug. So let's stamp that there. A ding. See, Heather, you thought you were the only one that does a ding. All right, and that one's going to go there. Oh, yeah. Cover up part of it. We got a bug turd. Okay, let's glue it together. Do, do. And it's got guide, just like me. I do love the dragonflies. Actually, I know I'm going to use thank you for your kindness a lot this year. And, and you can throw a dragonfly into anything. Even the trees you did today, Heather. <laughs> they crash. All right. So we're going to glue this down. Yeah, at this rate, I'm not going to get through all these cards. No, a lot of them are easy. This was supposed to be easy. And this little guy is going to cover up part of the ding. And then, but wait, there's more. I think I'll just use these on it because they were the first thing I grabbed. So, oh, hello. Uh, 
Uh-uh, I didn't want you to go there. Over here. Over there, bud. And over there. Okay, so now this one I didn't put on other paper. The other one I did. I mounted it on paper so that it, you could, like, curl it up better. But we'll just leave this one flat. flat chested. So that's going to go right there. So there's a simple, simple card. Here's the other one I didn't make. <laughs> okay. So there's two down. This one I'll figure out another time. All right, for my next trick, ta-da! So this is a one card. There's one other one that I make two at once. I think that's when I use this one. Okay. So now I need this thing, and I need two of those pretty dragonflies so uh, they fate well it doesn't matter because you can turn them gail like just because it's facing that way doesn't mean you can't turn it over and use it that way all right so i need two of them buggers two and then i need those two leaves okay we got this So these, I took markers, so this one's going that way, this one is going that way. So we're going to, wrong side, see when I want this one? So we're going to color this with light misty moonlight. And you just want to use the side. And then move it over to see if you missed any spots. Oh, we got to do the other one too. What a maroon. Do, 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 do. Move it over, drop. We got that. All right, then I am going to take some um, light cider cinnamon and do the body I actually should make his head black but we'll just leave him brown cinnamon let me in okay then these I tried to be all fancy but Fancy didn't work for me. So, and these are kind of delicate, like in certain places. So, don't be as rough as I am. See, like that. Like that. It's got a broken neck. Once it's broken, it's broken. It's crying. So you can just quickly, we don't have to be fancy schmancy, whoops. And then we'll do this one. So you have the option of doing any colors you want. Like if you wanted these leaves to be orange, you could do that too. but then you wouldn't see them. Okay. Then we're going to get this ready and I'm going to take, and I think I'll use the lighter one. So I'm going to use, where'd it go? I'm going to use soft succulent. And go around this. 
And then we won't have to touch any of the inks again. And of course, when I was like cutting these, like I made changes to them. Probably not the best idea. All right, so may good things grow all year long. And I'm just going to pull this a little bit closer and try and do this straight. Good luck. Ah, oh, not bad. All right, so I'm going to set that aside. Thank you. I did them last night. All right, I'm going to turn that over. So instead of using the green, I decided to use blue. Figured I'd use stuff up that was already cut. Although I cut a lot of stuff. Went, nope, don't like this color. Nope, don't like that color. Nope. And that, Heather, is why I cannot stamp on the fly. Because then I get all like, oh my god. Oh look, I even put them right side up. Okay. So what I did is I laid them down and said, is that where I want you to go? Yep. And then I took a pencil and went tick -a -tick -a -tick -a -tick -a. and then we can put them So we got a one, and this is when you can fix the broken neck. Oh, I just cured them. an easier fix than my neck oh no it's gonna break again okay here we go okay ah uh, he's fixed surgery was a success and then let's put this down Like that. Oh, that like shrunk in or I missed it. So this guy is going to go here. I missed a spot on him too. So much for moving it over. We'll fix one at a time. So just a little blue. Now you could do the sponge technique, you know, and just, oh, me and my different noises. It was a, all right. And then this one's going to go here. There was nothing to fix on that one except his broken wing. I just broke his wing. So a little dab will do you. Just kind of, as long as you get like a little bit. Oh, look at his broken wing. But they're so fixable.
All right, so now I'm going to try and be neat and just fix that spot, that spot. Shouldn't try to do too much because I know me. One more. Can she do it? She did it. Okay, so let's throw some sparkles on that too. I got this one too. I don't like that one. All right, let's do this. So, hmm, one there. Another problem of mine, not knowing where to put them. One there. And, yeah, what the heck, one there. So happy. Okay, so that was card number two, three. Okay, next one is this one. So, the first thing we're going to do is get that dragonfly. So, let's get them. Now, here's the other way. <clears throat> Don't get lost. Stay right there. So what I did with this is this. And then I took, where is it? I don't know. Do I have to get another one dirty? Oh, I know what I used. I had a clear nail polish thing sitting here. <laughs> yeah. All right. I got a sponge here. So... We're just going to ink it up like this and lift it up with a tweezer. Yep. And I'm just placing it there because it doesn't take long to dry. Then I'm going to pop this out. And let's see, I want that side. So we're going to do the same thing with this. So at least you see different ways to do it. See, I left that piece clean on purpose. And one over the edge so that I can do that. And that's done, almost. Perfect. And even if it's not, we're going with it. Okay, so while that's drying, we're gonna take the piece of DSP and I will put all the sizes, I did not type them up yet, but I will. I mean, because this is the third week I'm doing it, and I, I can't quit now. <laughs> I got to keep going, typing up all my... How long have you been a demonstrator? Um, 23 years going on 24 if you can call it demonstrating <laughs> it's it's called having lots of fun that's what it's called okay so then we're going to put that down there So just a few dots here and there. Here's one I get annoying with a dot dot here and a dot dot there. Here a dot, there a dot. Everywhere a freaking dot. Oh, I 
think I got a dots. Okay, so that's going to go right there. Yeah. Yeah, I like it. All right, so now this one. What, you want to sing like me? You can, Michelle. Okay, you want your lesson? With a dot, dot here, and a dot, dot there, here a dot, there a dot. Well, we got to get a dot there. You can do this. These are still available. If you don't have them, I put my hostess code. I mean, if you're a demonstrator, you can just go get it. If you have a demonstrator, you can get it from your demonstrator. But if you don't, my hostess code is right up at the top. Now, to make that card finished, um, where's that sponge? And I don't want the one with the wrong color on it. It's not that one. It's that one. So we're going to go around the edges. And now this one I took from another set. Um, and I didn't even finish mounting the set yet. And because I am, like, I always put my labels on it because I can't tell what's top, what's bottom. So the with you is on the bottom and we're going to take that and it's a circle so you don't have to get exactly straight because you can turn it and then we're going to put a little bit of glue on that pop it into there oh there's a ding there too then we go here, a ding, there, a ding. Ah, good job, Barbara. The Leopard Suite will be out on the 4th of May. That's second on my list. The turtle is first. Oh, I should have gone to the edge. I'll scoot a little bit more ink in there. I mean, uh, glue. Ink. All right, let's put some diamonds on there, too. Because diamonds are a girl's best friend. i got to start using some of those big ones, or but there are a lot more of these little ones. And we'll put one there. Sometimes I like to put, like, just three in a row, because then I don't have to decide. <laughs> and, oh, I use the gold ones on this. Yeah, so there's that one. Oh, do I do my favorite one now? You know I love black and white, but I'm changing. These are the new clear little drops that are coming out. Well, they kind of look like glue dripping on this particular card. So I'm changing that. So I'm going to stamp for a true friend. Uh, for a true friend. Here it is. And of course, I'm going to stamp that in black. Now this little one came out of the dies for this. I think it's that one right there because I did I know I told you I was gonna do it but I don't know where I put the thing now it was here before cuz I was picking things out of it but I done like a bunch of blank ones I say it's good enough all right, so you can set there and dry. And 
we need the other one. Anybody know where I put them? Ah, oh, here they are. So this went through the brick folder. And we're just going to put some glue on it. This was really an easy card. Like just having these backgrounds. Like there's not much else you have to do. So I do want to get it like on the edges. On as many edges as I can. I got up there. I didn't get over here. And just a couple, you know, spots in the middle. I promise I, I'm done singing. I promise. <laughs> Black and white's my favorite. So we're going to put that there. And you can always, you know, like lift up if you have to. All right, so I'm going to set this aside. And where'd the piece go? It was right here. God, Gail, why do you make things so difficult? It's right here. Right where I put it. All right, so we're going to take some black ink and that. I don't want that black ink because it's not going to dry. All right, I got that one up there. Not the one I was looking for. Because this needs to be inked. All right, so we're just going to stamp it. You want to stamp it straight. not bad. Then we're going to take some smoky slate. <laughs> Words go out of my head, folks. All right. And we're going to stamp that there. And we're going to stamp that on that side. And they do curve like different, but it doesn't matter once you cut it. Like that was weird. I went, isn't there two of them when I first got the set? So then we're just going to put it in the punch and level it around. And then you close your eyes and punch. All right, I think that's the only time I need it. Okay, so now we are going to take some dimensionals. So I need a small one there. And a small one on each of the wings and I think I left this tail I did I left this tail alone and then one there and one there so I may as well just put this to the card I'm a dog person, too. I like to watch videos of cats, though. I think cats are funny as hell. All right, so then we can glue this one down. Right there. That 
it's a little crooked too. And then I got glue on. Glue on my finger. Oh, I did that one. <laughs> Come fly with me. So that's going to go right there. And then we're going with the diamonds instead of those strips. So we'll put one there. Let's go for a big one. Um, one there, and the middle child right there, because that's where it fell. And that is that card. Yeah, those definitely look better than those. Can you see them? They look like glue drips. Hmm. All right. Uh, is this the one I got a color? No. The last one. Okay. So then we have this one. It's got pieces. That must have gone to the one I didn't finish. Alright, so this was from that um, artsy, artsy fartsy um yeah, I only had a few pieces of that from a paper share. Yeah, there's a lot of pieces here. Where's the other one? I need it. I need it. Okay. So this one I didn't do anything to, but I cut it exactly the size of that piece. So we're going to glue that to that. And it doesn't come out exactly even, so that, that's why I had to play a little bit with the um, dimensions of it. Like I wasn't liking it. Well, the first time I really just cut it wrong. But then I tried to stay like an eighth of an inch. And I didn't know if I wanted white, if I wanted... A blue card or a white card but I knew I wanted that paper because it was sitting on my desk and I said "Ooh, I want to use it okay so let me see okay I did cut them like a eighth of an inch so it's about an eighth might even well I don't think it's a sixteenth it's about an eighth Now the other card, the first card, I cut that paper a little larger. So I didn't, it was one less layer. And it probably ends up looking about the same. Because I didn't know, oh and I put this through, see this is on a blue card. And then it's, it's plain. But I thought it needed something, so I cut this the same size as the card and made an extra layer. That's what I did. All right, so let's glue that down. I don't know if I made it harder or... But I thought it needed something, so... We're going to wiggle that around a little bit. So that's like barely, barely a layer. <laughs> barely. All right. Let's get this on there. So this is through my favorite subtle folder, which is retiring, which 
I don't care because I'm going to keep using it. You're still going to be seeing it. So I'm just going to level that up. So in reality, I could have done the blue card and just put half of it through, but but then you don't have to put an inside because it opens up white. I'm so smart. <laughs> All right, let's let's get this show on the road. And I might want it to hike that up, but I didn't. Okay, so this little guy, just want to make sure that stays. Oh, I forgot to layer him. Hmm. Because it does work better. If you put that second layer, like glue this to a piece of cardstock, like you can see how like sturdy this is, so it'll stay like that better. Well, sometimes you think you're done and you're not. I think it's because you just want to be done. So that's going to go there. Then we're going to take this, which is embossed in white, and this is all misty moonlight. Oh, and I put it the opposite way. Ugh. Scoop, scoop. Ugh. Okay, now let's find those. Oh no, they're not there. Let's see, do we want to use these? We could use these. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, it'll work. I used a retired one. This is an upcoming um, here. Is there a bigger one? They're eensy weensy. Down, tail. It's ready for takeoff. Today is natural crazy cat lady day. Wow. Okay. So, I got to change that later to a big, it needs like it's flying to something. All right. So, that's the other one. So I don't know which one. They're kind of the same because I use the Razzleberry. Okay, so now, last card. Actually, last two cards are those. So now that I've really messed that up. So we're going to clean it. And you really shouldn't wash these. If you do, then you're supposed to be like very gentle with dishwashing soap and like don't really scrub them because those bristles are glued in. But this really, like nothing's going to come off that now. That's how I clean them. All right, so I need this back. And and we need that. So pale papaya. Gail, let's put your piece in there. Oh, duh. It's this one. 
glad I didn't start because that's just the base of that one. Okay, so these line up perfectly. And you're just going to do it. Do it. You just got to remember what you're doing. Behave. Behave. So I'm just going to turn it a little bit. Sticking to the glue that's there. Move back over. Thank you very much. Okay. So there's that. I think I want it a little darker up on the top. So let's line her up. Right in that one spot, right there. Better. -er. Okay, so then I'm just going to take on the solid ones and make them a little darker. What's the name of the texture folder? Texture. Uh. This one? No. You mean this one? The flowers? It is. Boom, boom, boom. Not subtle. Where'd it go? I did put it away. It's something dandy. Here it is. Oh, ornate floral. That one. And then the other one is subtle. Oh, and then I got fancy and I used script. Which I think is retiring. Or it might have been retired. But I just found it in my somewhere, so it's new to me. I haven't really used it. Okay, so now we got those. Let's get all our pieces. Because doing two at once, I have no clue what I'm doing. So again, I cut very vanilla, the same size as that. And then, I wonder if I can organize this a little bit. So this one, this one is this one. Yes, this one is this one. And, oh, I did do it. Yay me. I was just thinking, I don't think I did that. So that's going there. Oh, I switched them around. I don't think it matters. Oh, this goes with this. Mm. One of them gets that. Yes. Okay. So we're going to glue this down to this. I'm great at two at once. But I don't know my left from my right, so... Who knows where I put things? Ooh, ooh. So I don't, I don't care, like, as long as this is getting glued down, like, I'm just going to do the corners. If my glue wants to cooperate. So... No, move 
move. Yes. Okay. Whew. All right, so that's going with that. So now I need one more of those dragonflies. So I really did pretty good at using them, using them up. And then this one we're going to color. Is that the light? I want the dark. Oh, that's the cider. We don't want cider. Ah, that's what we want. Try not to break your wings. Too late, you already got me. And then, it's not that one. Oh, it's definitely not that one. Story of my life. Oh, I know what I did. I did this. Yeah, that's what I did. So now I'm leaning a little bit forward so that it comes to the front and you can see it. So then it looks like it's been, like you have a piece under it. All right, so this one also is going to get that heartfelt, yeah, but I've thrown the ink away. And again, you're in a circle, so as long as you're somewhere near the middle, you'll be good. So let that dry a little bit. While we glue this, I love my subtle folder. Thanks, Sue. Why, oh, why are they retiring it? Because it says Sizzix. Mine does. They might have changed that. I got doid on it. All right, that's going to pop up. No, it can't be. And this is what takes me the longest because I use a lot. I was going to say, they do come off easier if you press them down. Actually, if you put your nail in it. But then they yell at me that I hurt them, so it's enough that I stick them. I used to be faster at this. Slowing down in my old age. Uh, are we facing the right way, guys? I think so. All right, so there. And then this guy is going down flat. Because seriously, how much dimension do we need? And then... I want to make this one, see now if I had put it on the ink, could have made it darker. That's the other thing about sticking them, 
in your ink pad, you'll get a darker image or color or something. Oy, I'm so sticky down there. Oh, but you know what? I don't need it anymore. So. Oh, too much glue. And then there. Except for that little dab. All right, let's put together the other one and then we'll put some gems on. All right, so I'm just going to get the corners. Yeah, because this goes on top of something. I'm probably like even out of the picture because I see like my whole thing is moved here. <clears throat> and my chair backed up. So I like it with the scripty. It's just like a little bit more subtle than that one. I like them both. This is this is like my favorite color, I think. So you're going to be seeing this color a lot. Oh, that was supposed to get stuck up. Okay, dry a little bit. We'll stick you up. So we'll put this one. I mean, it could go flat. Let's see. All right, you're going flat. I'll give the greeting a little bit more dimension. Now, let's see if I was smart and kept out the little twine or put it away. No, I put it away. So this is, no, it's this one. So this is the new package that's coming out, Baker's Twine Essential. Essential. So I took and doubled it. I think I doubled it like that. And then cut it. Oh, I need that scissor back. Because then I cut that one. So we're going to poke that through. Put these through that. And then decide, and I think I'll pop it up this time because I didn't pop up. Oh, I need to drink the other thing. So, the last time I like stuck it under one of those, I'll just pop it that way. So let's do that. And then you trim it after it's where you want it. Glue boogers.
So I'll put it right there. And then we'll trim that a little bit. Okay, so let's add some, yeah, genial gems. So we'll put, no, we'll put one, oh, I got this, one there, one here, and sorry guys, you weren't invited to the party. Okay, so we've got that one, and then one there. One there, and one there. All right. So, let me like throw all this stuff over and bring it all back. There were a lot of cards, minus one. So we have those, we have that, and I'll take separate pictures of them and post them and that. This was really a great, great kit. I don't know which one I did, doesn't matter. Oh, and then we had that extra one. Oh, don't get on my cards. And we had that. So we had all these cards Oh my, look at the time. But it was a lot of cards for a little over an hour. Yeah, so thanks everybody for being here. You guys are great putting up with my maniac self. <laughs> thanks, Char, Gina, Sandra, Deborah. Hi, Pat. I know, black and white cards, man, they are just, yeah. So, like I said, you can still get this, um, still in the, it's still in the catalog, so they didn't run out yet, and um, I'll be back on Wednesday, God knows what I'm going to do, this has been like a crazy few days, because um, I just made these today, so I'll have tomorrow, I have to decide, so... Maybe I'll do a technique Wednesday. And I don't know what I'll do, but it'll be something. <laughs> so thanks for being here, and I'll see you all Wednesday. Good night, everybody.